hey guys, I'm sure you can talk to you all about dry ice. Okay, well first of all, it's really cool. You can make explosions. I usually do experiments with it, but here it is. It's, you have to keep moving it with your hand. It kind of owns, but it's really crazy because it, you, you, should, you should have it with gloves. So, Cause, so you won't get burned. Like, I'll put it on my shirt right now. <laughs> it's, it drives negative 200 degrees, so it's really cool. And here it is right now, I'll try and hold up my hand. <laughs> okay, you shouldn't do that, but this is really cool. So, yeah, it's uh, drives to make explosions. Here's a really cool one, you can put it in water, and then uh, put soap on it and it makes a giant bubble. That's crazy, like I'll try and hold it in my hand again. Ah! It's really insane, but yep, that's all about dry ice. I'll talk to you more about explosions. Uh, you can chop like a ton in the swimming pool or a hot tub. The whole thing just goes poof. And it's like, I know kind of a lot of experiments to do. Um, you can put dry ice in a bottle, then close the cap and throw it, let it fill up, and then it'll explode. You can do a bunch of stuff with dry ice. Just make sure you keep moving it in your hand, because it's negative 200 degrees. It owns, and you make sure you use it in one day, because it melts, or it, it's like frozen air. So it just like goes away after about three hours or one night. And you can put it in like plastic wrap if you want it to last about a day. So yeah, dry is really cool. You can do a lot of experiments with it. You can look more up, but this is all I can tell you for now. Thanks.